and it's almost Valentine's Day, so I'm gonna show you how to seduce your Tinderella or your Prince Tinder Charming with a meal that's gonna keep you going all night long. Debbie, seriously, all night? Just from dinner? Oh yeah, did you know that eating a meal filled with avocados and oysters and chocolate can boost your libido through the roof? Huh, that's mildly unattractive. Whatever, Abby, this meal is gonna give me one of the best orgasms of my life. Now I just need to find a Valentine's Day date. Swipe left, swipe right, swipe right. Okay, Debbie. Well, I'm gonna tell you why that might not be the case. Let's take a look at what everyone's saying about aphrodisiac foods. Which is that they are awesome? I mean, duh, red wine, avocados, chilies, chocolate. Okay there, Debbie, let's get real here. I love all these foods, I'm not gonna lie, but there's not a whole lot of evidence out there that any of these foods have any kind of impact on our sex drives. A lot of those foods get their aphrodisiac title because of some of the nutrients they contain. Others are grounded in mythology or symbolism, and others still are just kind of plain random. But whatever the case, the research doesn't lie. Whatever guys, I know what you need this Valentine's Day, and it starts with a big plate of these big, juicy, sexy turned oysters. Well, I'm glad you like oysters, Debbie, because they're a great source of lean protein, but they're not edible Viagra. I think oysters probably got their aphrodisiac title because they are loaded with zinc, which is a really important nutrient for male sex hormones, but unfortunately, the research suggests it's not linked to sex drive for men in any kind of way. Alternatively, if you're into slippery, wet foods that look a bit like testicles, then kudos to you, Debs. I say slip them back, they might just do the trick. All right then, what about chili peppers? My day is gonna be hot as hell. Mm. Oh, that's cool, Debbie. I look a good kick too, but chilies are not magic either. It's super far-fetched. I think probably the connection comes from a lot of people thinking that when they eat hot food, they get sweaty and their heart races, and that might remind them of sex. I don't know. But if that's what you're going for, I have one piece of advice for you. Whatever you do, don't eat chilies, and then go downtown. What? Think about that one for a minute. Ouch. Okay then, Abby, well, let's just eat chocolate. Chocolate is safe for my lady parts and is such an aphrodisiac. So chocolate has been thought to help raise our feel-good hormone serotonin, which might put us in a good mood, but one study actually looked at whether or not chocolate had any impact on sexual desire, and sadly, no dice. What the what? Abby, I don't get it. I still feel like these foods put me in the mood. What is the science not getting at? Well, Debbie, it might be the placebo effect. In scientific trials, participants are often either given a treatment or a placebo, like a sugar pill, for example. And in this case, the participants, and often the researchers themselves, don't actually know who's been given the treatment and who hasn't. So that way they can avoid people changing their behaviors or their experiences thinking that they've been given a treatment. It's very possible that food puts us in the mood because we think it will or expect that it will. It's also possible that a food just puts us in a good mood, and that's usually the first step to getting intimate. Well, in that case, just bring on the juice cleanse. There's nothing like a green juice to make me smile. Whatever works, Debbie. Whatever works for you. The bottom line is that this Valentine's Day, and really any day of the year, Focus on enjoying foods that actually make you feel good. So that might be a poutine and chocolate, or it's some asparagus and some fresh, beautiful eggs. Whatever it is, you know, that should be your priority this Valentine's Day. And if you want some top tips on avoiding a shitty Valentine's Day, head on over to this video right here. So of course, if you like this video, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with what you're serving this Valentine's Day. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen.